Enterocytozoan Bunazi, Wikipedia Audio Enterocytozoan Bunazi is a species of the order Microsporidae which infects the intestinal epithelial cells. It is an obligate intracellular parasite. Enterocytozoan Bunazi, commonly known as Microsporidae, is a unicellular, obligate intracellular eukaryote. Their life cycle includes a proliferative marogonic stage, followed by a sporogonic stage resulting in small, environmentally resistant, infective spores, which is their transmission mode. The spores contain a long, coiled polar tube, which distinguishes them from all other organisms and has a crucial role in host cell invasion. E. Bunazi was first found in an AIDS patient in France in 1985 and was later found in swine in 1996 in fecal samples. It causes diarrhea thus the pigs excrete more spores, causing the disease to spread. As this pathogen is very prevalent throughout the world, E. Bunazi is found in a wide variety of hosts including pigs, humans, and other mammals. E. Bunazi can be studied using TEM, light microscopy, PCR, and immunofluorescence and can be cultured for short term. It is not yet known whether the pathogen itself can be infected by other diseases. There seems to be widespread economic implications of infection by this pathogen for the swine industry. Several treatments, including fumagillin and albendazole have showed promise in treating infection. The earliest reference to the order Microsporidae was in the mid-20th century. E. Bunazi was first found in an AIDS patient in France in 1985. The electron microscope studies revealed presence of developmental stages of parasite resembling Microsporidae. The investigators then named it as E. Bunazi. The presence of E. Bunazi in swine was first detected in fecal samples of pigs in Zurich, Switzerland in 1996. Abstract Short-term culturing of E. bunazi was achieved by inoculating duodenal aspirate and biopsy specimens into E6 and HLF monolayers. The short-term cultures lasted up to six months. After several weeks of culture, gram-positive spore-like structures measuring 1 to 1.2 um long were observed. Mature spores and spore oblasts with double rows of polar tubule coils were seen. Long-term culturing seems to be unsuccessful. Light microscopy of stained clinical smears, especially of fecal samples, is used to diagnose microsporidia infections. Transmission electron microscopy is required to differentiate between species of microsporidia, but it is time-consuming and expensive. Immunofluorescence assays using monoclonal and polyclonal antibodies are used, and PCR has recently been employed for E. bunazi. Enterocytozoan bunazi is transported through environment resistant spores. Common environmental sources of E. bunazi include ditch and other surface waters, and several species of Microsporidae can be isolated from such sources indicating that the disease may be waterborne. The different modes of transmission that may be possible include the fecal-oral or oral-oral route, inhalation of aerosols, or ingestion of food contaminated with fecal material. Furthermore, there seem to be a close relationship between E. bunazi strains from humans and pigs, suggesting the absence of transmission barrier between pigs and humans for this parasite. Animals, particularly pigs, may play a role of zoonotic reservoir in transmitting the disease to other organisms. Both vertical and horizontal transmissions are possible. Hosts include pigs, fish, birds, cattle, human, and other mammals such as monkeys. 
Enterocytozoan bunazi is a common parasite in pigs and it causes diarrhea, from self-limited to severe forms. This is documented by the lack of intestinal lesions in pigs experimentally infected with E. bunazi. The pigs that were infected with this disease excreted more spores. Inhibitors of chitin synthase enzymes seem to be effective against this pathogen. Fumagillin and albendazole treatments seem promising in swine. Discovering the disease It is very common in pigs and seems to be a natural pathogen in animals such as pigs. In some communities of pigs, the prevalence rates of E. bunazi reached 37%. There are no recorded large epidemics yet. PCR analysis in Czech Republic revealed existence of E. bunazi in 94% of the samples indicating the large presence of E. bunazi in swine, and that they may be naturally occurring. Since this is a relatively new finding in pigs, the economic impact has not been studied yet. Pig farming in the U.S. has annual revenue of $18 billion and U.S. has about 75,000 pig farms. Infection in even few pigs can be devastating as the disease is easily spread. Moreover, these pigs can serve as zoonotic reservoirs for ebunazi so transmission to other animals and humans is possible. Since the transmission from swine to other humans and animals is not studied yet, this may cause a major impact on the health of this country. Moreover, in other parts of the world such as China where the pig industry is major economic component and where humans and pigs live in crowded conditions, the disease can be very easily spread and can have a potentially major impact on the economy. Culturing. Study and Detection Methods Life Cycle Transmission Mode Hosts Effects on Hosts Treatment Prevalence Economic Impact Notes <laughs>